Okay, let's see if we can reduce the visual weight. Okay, a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see now the ability icons are okay at least slightly or equally prominent than the green background. So basically when you have your primary and secondary abilities okay, if you have any other abilities that are not selected as your primary or secondary abilities they will be okay, you can see them from your vault by pressing your V key and once you press your V key you can okay, this is what you will see Hey Rika and Avaros How is your day coming along? If you are wondering what is the number beside the abilities icon, then this is the level of the ability. Okay, I'm using green as the background for this numbers okay so as to identify themselves as the level of the ability so if you notice on this top left hand corner okay this is the characters level and these three are the abilities level Okay, currently I'm using Photoshop and for stars I'm using Unity. Okay, if you have a headache, something that might help is to drink more water and maybe you can try having some bananas.
Okay, for now, I think this will do. So let's export the this small green image over here so that we can import it into the Unity game project. Okay, so by my estimations, this might be 32 times 32. Although I might be wrong. Okay, so that was. Okay, so there is something that I have to fix over here, which is. Okay, so this is one, two, three. Oh. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there is an extra pixel. Which I'm going to remove now. Okay, we need it in multiples of four. Okay, wait a second. Did I miss something? One, two, okay. Okay, that was my mistake. Okay, so now... Let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you. 
all right that should do it so we have four pixels worth of space on the left on the right on the top and bottom Okay, so now let's fill up the center. Okay, and as usual, we will use Apple Script to automate the exporting of the images. Okay, that's fast. Okay, so that's our background for the ability level. Okay, now let's go back to Unity where the image in is imported. Okay. Okay, let me check the script to make sure that the ability levels are correctly displayed or displaying. Okay, so since we are now transitioning to displaying the abilities level
think that should do it although I'm not sure anytime I change something it works the first time it will usually take a miracle for that to happen though Five eight. Okay, that should work, but okay, we won't be sure until we that's it. Okay, let me maximize it so that you can see it better. Okay, so now, now that we have, we are still transitioning to using abilities. Okay, you can see that your current ability is level 1 and there is a small grey experience bar which is still empty just above the level 1 okay so if I press the V key okay it shows the 1 which is the level so that is correct Okay, but we want to display the green background behind the one. And we need to move it to the left. Okay, let me just get the coordinates to display them correctly. So, this might be 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, maybe 7. Okay, minus seven point eight one and minus seven point four. The icon and the level text. Okay, let me just get my mouse. Okay, since it will be easier for me to drag and drop using my mouse. Okay. 
And let's put the tablet away for now. Okay, because I only have two USB ports. Okay, so now drag and drop this over here okay this is what will be appearing behind the abilities level when you press the v key Okay, as usual, we will need to create a prefab or a reusable game object. Okay, so now we need to link that green color background to the HUD. Okay, let's put it here. And let's drag it over here. Okay, I know that my code is messy. Yeah. Okay, so over here, we will create the background for the level text. Okay. Instantiate. Okay, basically what Instantiate does is it creates a clone of the original object.
Okay, that means we need Okay, we need another error list to keep track of the green backgrounds